All right, in this tutorial, we're going to evaluate numerical expressions with rational numbers. So we're going to be taking an expression that has a string of rational numbers and simplifying it down, following still our order of operations. And if you do not remember the order of operations, it was following the PEMDAS, parentheses, exponents, multiply and divide, add and subtract, and your multiplication and division are the same level, your add and subtract are at the same level. So for the first example, we're going to start with our parentheses. And inside this parentheses, we have um, a fraction, 5 eighths minus 4 over 9. And in order to subtract fractions, we have to set common denominators. So a common denominator between 8 and 9, we have to find the least common multiple. So 8 goes to 16, 24, 32, 40, 48, 56, 64, and I think the next one is 72. And same thing with the 9, 18, 27, 36. 45, 54, 63, and 72 is our only common one. So that's what we're going to have to set both of these denominators equal to. So in order to get from 8 to 72, we have to multiply 8 times 9. So times 9 times 9. 5 times 9 gives us 45. Then to go from 9 to 72, we multiply it times 8, times 8. 4 times 8 is 32. And we're going to bring down the rest of this problem. All right, so now that we have common denominators, we can subtract straight across. 45 minus 32 is 13 over 72. And that's being divided by 5 over 6. Now that we've taken care of the parentheses, the only thing left we have to do is to divide. And remember, in order to divide fractions, you keep the first one, flip the second one, and change the sign. Um, 6 goes into 72 12 times. So we're going to cross-cancel by reducing. 5 and 13 are both prime, so we're good right there. 5 times 12 is 60, and 1 times 13 is 13. 13's prime, doesn't go into any, doesn't go into 60. All right. So from the second one, we have a set of parentheses, but it's just a fraction. There's nothing we can do, so we move to our exponents. When you have a fraction, that is raised to a set of exponents. Both the numerator and the denominator get your exponent application. So you're going to take 4 squared, or multiply 4 times itself twice. 4 times 4 is 16. And you're going to also do the same thing with your denominator. 5 squared, or 5 times itself twice, is 25. All right, we have subtraction and division. Division comes before subtraction, so we're going to follow our division rules. Very similar to what we did earlier. We keep the first fraction. We'll keep the very first one in the expression. Keep the first fraction. Change the multiplication. Flip the second fraction. So when multiplying, 1 times 25 is 25. 6 times 16 is 96. 6 times 6 is 36, carry the 3. 1 times 6 is 6, add the 3. Um, so now we need to find least common denominators. You can't reduce this. So common denominator between 4 and 96. Um, let's see if 96 goes into 4. it does so it goes into it 24 times so we're going to multiply 4 times 24 
to get it to be the same denominator as our 96. Okay, so I found that out by just seeing if 4 is evenly divisible by 96 using our divisibility rules. Uh, 96 is even. And there's only two digits, so the last two digits I had to just divide to see if it worked by 4. Uh, 3 times 24 is 72 over 96 minus the 25 over 96. So we're just going to take um, 96 as our denominator for the answer since they're common. And then 72 minus 25. 7 here, 47. Uh, 47 does not go into 96, so this is completely reduced. All right, so follow your order of operations. Um, still using your fraction rules to make sure with, if things have the same denominator when you're adding or subtracting. And then if you're dividing, follow the division rules that we went over earlier.